Okay, so let's get started. In this video, we're going to finish up our midsection map up here, and uh, we're going to finish up with something a little bit more fun, similar to how we did it uh, in the end of the uh, beginner level section, where we're going to kind of combine some of our uh, smart materials inside of other smart materials to give you a little taste of fun here. Uh, so we're going to start off by doing our shoulder armor piece. So let's go ahead and just add a folder and uh, just call that folder shoulder armor. And then I'm just going to once again just kind of uh, go with, uh, I'll probably start with glass film uh, dirty because I like how that kind of has a little bit of a sheen that works, plugs in some of the ambient occlusion to kind of break up some of this. That's kind of fun. So let's go ahead and make a mask. So, so this is inside that folder. Let's go ahead and add a black mask on that folder by hitting right click. Click on that folder. Go over to the left where it says polygon fill. Go over to the right where we are. We can just do a mesh fill or UV chunk. You can also hit right click and do it from here if you want. And let's just bring this in like that. So now we have our folder all set to go. Let's uh, just uh, see if we can create sort of like an underlaying texture, like a hexagon, uh, uh, yeah, well, fiber, fiber elastic-like material, a little translucent in nature. So I'm going to create some hexagon pattern, and I'm going to do that from scratch. So I'll click on there, and I'm going to hit fill layer. I'm going to call this fill this layer uh, hex. And what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm just going to make this uh, start with uh, sort of a gray texture. And I'm going to hit black mask on there. I'm going to click on that mask and add fill uh, as a modifier to this mask. Now when you click on the mask and then you right click and add a modifier, everything you do pertains to just that mask, not to here. So. Let's go ahead and go through our procedural textures. We're choosing procedurals because that's where our repeatable textures are. And uh, we're going to go with, um, hmm, let's see, I'll do a hexagon border. And that will grayscale everything out. <clears throat> now, as you can see, what that did was that fill then affected the fill of this mask in a repeatable manner. So it's masking out now everything that's on the Fill layer. So let's change the attributes of this by clicking on that hexagon border. Let's click on scale and see if we can make that pretty uh, tiny. <laughs> Something like that maybe. And that just kind of gives us a little bit of uh, something fun to work with here. Uh, we can work with uh, maybe making it a little bit more metallic in nature perhaps. Something like that. Might help. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and add another smart material to kind of cover over that or glaze over that. So we'll use uh, plastic glossy. Mm, yeah, I think we'll go with plastic. Uh, something a little bit drier. Mm, let me look here. Something like that. Yeah, pretty basic. Easy to establish even with a fill layer. So uh, I'll probably just do something like just change this to a red, maybe, something like that. Maybe like a desaturated red. And then let's go ahead and see if we can kind of blend this in to get some of our hex and glassy film dirty to uh, see through here through a fun mask. now. I can go ahead and just add a smart mask in. We can just, you know, pick your own smart mask if you want. Uh, there's no wrong uh, answer here. It's all just having fun and uh, experimenting, basically. Like I can just go ahead and choose this one. This is kind of a fun one here. I choose, uh, what is it, uh, stained surface. We can kind of mess around and s see if that's one we want. For example, you know, after you choose one, go to the parameters and then just simply start messing around with uh, what you see. So like right here, you're seeing something that's kind of fun. It's, it's, it's a little bit interesting to me. I, I find that uh, kind of a unique looking uh, scenario. Uh, we can also, if we want, uh, do some fun things like, uh, for example, what if, if you wanted to um, 
maybe use some other smart material on here. Uh, you can uh, do that as well. Like, uh, let's say, plastic uh, fake leather. You can maybe drop that in just to see what that makes it look like if uh, you want to. You know, there's nothing wrong, no wrong answers here. You can kind of just kind of see, like, what will happen uh, when you put something in here. Or maybe if you want to just kind of turn off plastic glossy to kind of just get a look at what something looks like, you can kind of just see like that. You know, again, I'm encouraging as many of you to kind of go through this and uh, try to experiment as much as you can. So now that we have that uh, established, one thing I'm probably going to look at is I'm going to look at the roughness of here and maybe tweak that to be slightly specular. I want a good specular contrast between what's underneath here. And that probably will, maybe something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Don't forget to have fun with these fill layers and just start, you know, changing your color scheme, having fun with it, you know, doing what you love to do. You know, if you want it to be that color, that's cool. I'm choosing red because it could use a little red here. Maybe go with a slightly darker desaturated red maybe <laughs> you know there's no end to how much you can have I'm going to do one more thing on here and I'm just going to add a little bit of dust uh, just to have some fun on here just to kind of break it up and make this a little bit more interesting to look at now as you notice the dust right now doesn't uh, scale very well so we got to go through the colors and kind of make them match up to uh, what we want to see here. You know, if you uh, want these colors to actually be seen, they're just kind of like small adjustments that kind of just bring out everything. So, <clears throat> in theory, you can do the same with dirt as well if you want. But again, dirt's a little bit more of a, a <laughs> you can kind of see, it's a little bit more crazier. So you're going to have to go through some of the blending modes, a combination of blending modes, as well as uh, working with some of the dirt on here. Fortunately, there's not too much uh, that you have to work with, except maybe just clicking on the main layer here, looking at some of the gradients, uh, like down here, and uh, working with something like just like a black tone versus a secondary black tone. And then uh, after that, you know, it, it may still be too prevalent, so let's turn off height, let's turn off normal, because we don't need that, and let's just do a very subtle blend of everything that we see here. So maybe we'll start with this, maybe we'll go through metallic, Start with the lower end of the metallic. Let's go through the roughness and really be subtle with the rough roughness. I think I just, ooh, or we could just turn it off like that. <laughs> Height seems to be playing a part, and I want that to be turned off completely, and so does so normal now. There we go. Normal map was playing a lot of there. All right, so like if we, uh, you can kind of see there was more to work with on dirt, but uh, if you want, you can just kind of have some fun just to kind of grunge it up or multiply it up. You know, you just want you to experiment with everything we see. Now, the lower the opacity, you might need to go a little bit higher base plastic just to kind of see what that looks like. You can kind of see the dirt a little bit better when we turn that color up. So, you know, just a little bit more to uh, what you want to see. There we go. 
So we got ourselves a little bit more of a texture now uh, on here and uh, that's going to be the conclusion to this section here now. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and move on into the next section which is going to now be about uh, just working the pants and uh, it's going to be a pretty easy one. It will be a fairly quick one because uh, there's a lot less to texture than there was in the jacket. So uh, with that said, uh, have fun and stick around and stay with us.